Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we are here on Key Coker in Belize. And today what we have for you are what you should eat and enjoy when you are here in Belize. And you know, anywhere you're going to go there's going to be good foods, there's going to be interesting foods, and there's going to be knock your sock off foods, right? And probably the thing you're going to start off with here in Belize, if you're on the coast, you're on the Keys, you're on the coastline, the beaches, it's the seafood. I mean it is fantastic here. but. I will say, the one that really knocked our socks off was the grilled lobster. Oh my god, like, could I have some more grilled lobster please? And another one, and another one, and another one. It is so good. So you do have that, but there's all kinds of other seafood you can enjoy when you're here. There's plenty of different fish when you're here to try. I had a barracuda steak the other night, which was really good. You got fillets, all kinds of really good fish that you're going to have when you're here. Also, if you're here on the Keys and you're going snorkeling, you'll see a lot of conch shells. Well, guess what? All those times they stabbed you in the toes when you were snorkeling and stuff like that, this is your chance to get them back because they make really good conch fritters here you're going to have, which is also really good. And honestly, anything with shrimp, you might have a coconut curry shrimp or, or different kind of shrimp dishes and stuff like that, all kinds of really good stuff. So the seafood is definitely a must when you're here. Now, you're also going to see, for the second thing you're going to eat here is there's actually some non-seafood things you're going to have because if you go inland especially you're gonna have some really good stewed meats and for me it's the stewed chicken I mean the stewed chicken here is awesome and like fall off the bone good oh it is so good and the thing is you might have jerk chicken as well when you're here another option especially on the Caribbean side of Belize which is really good but also I'd say it's you're gonna see a lot of grilled meats as well going along with this kind of meat theme and one of the things you'll see is they love their barbecue here you'll see people out having their grills out and they'll just make an outdoor barbecue and sell food from there which actually makes for a lot cheaper alternative than going into a restaurant especially if you're going to be like in San Pedro or here in Key Coco where there's a lot of tourism those outdoor bars and grills kind of stuff really can save your bank quite a bit and also give you a nice little <clears throat> full tummy while you're at it. Now the thing you should know about the, the stewed chicken and the, and the barbecue and just pretty much anything you have when you are here, the third thing you're really going to have when you are here is rice and beans. Yes, plain old rice and plain old beans, you'll have those together or you might have beans and rice which actually is two different dishes. So you might have stewed beans with coconut rice and stuff like that. That's actually really good by itself. I know Liam has enjoyed that. He's like, you know, I'm good. I don't need any lobster. I just want my rice and beans and he's been super happy. And if you're a vegetarian, the fruit here is amazing. You have amazing fruit juices. We've got great watermelon juice, papaya juice, orange juice, all kinds of great stuff you will have it so that's really a nice thing. Now the next thing I recommend you have when you do come here is you see some of these outdoor stands and stuff like that if they have salbutes and ganaches. If you're not sure what those are, if you know what a tostada is, it's like you know the, the flat fried corn shell and they put lettuce and stuff on top of it, they have those here too. But the, these are actually a smaller version of that. If you have the garnaches, they're a small fried corn tortilla and they'll put shredded, uh, well first it's beans, right, like refried beans kind of stuff, then shredded cabbage and shredded onion on there, that's really good. And the salbutes are a little bit different they have, it's a different it's a different like shell on the bottom kind of stuff and that's got a little more stuff to it you're gonna have some maybe some shredded chicken on there some jalapeno of course the beans a little cheese oh my god these things are like your morning wake up snack or afternoon snack or hangover snack or just because oh my god they're so good I'm going to eat them snack okay so speaking of tasty snacks if you're gonna be in one of those places that might have those um, there's another thing you want to try it's called a fry jack if you're not sure what a fry jack is is basically they take dough you know they flatten it out and then they throw it in a fryer and let it fry up and it actually puffs up and it is so good and you can have it like my favorite is just having it with cinnamon and honey oh Jenny is here in Key Coker she does a great job check her out Sarah I said hi there you have that or you can get it maybe with eggs and ham in it or beans and eggs in there for breakfast or you can have all kinds of cheese or stuff like that put into it so you might fold it up into it but that's one of those things that I really like when I've been here and I've had it here I've had it up inland in San Ignacio and other places so that's kind of like a nice breakfast thing to have when you're here but also a nice thing to have anytime when you are here in in Belize. Now the next thing I should probably talk about are the drinks when you're here and you're gonna see if you're looking for adult beverages Belican is like the only beer you find throughout the country. Um, you'll notice they have like usually a little napkin in it just wipe off your lid before you drink um, that's what I recommend also if you have glass bottles of Coke or Fanta the red Fanta here it's awesome it's like Inca Cola from Peru it's really good but you want to wipe off the glass bottle tops okay just just have eyes for that one um, but for like other alcoholic drinks there's tons and tons and tons of rum drinks because there's rums like a local drink here so you have a lot of different opportunities to have mixed drinks make with a local rum can't go wrong with that for non-alcoholic drinks um, you're gonna see 
a lot of fruit juices, like I said before, and those are always my go-to, like breakfast ever we've had, the papaya juice and watermelon juice, because that's what's in season while we're here now, has been great, but whatever the, the drink is, whatever is popular, whatever fruit is popular at that time, have the seasonal juice when you're here. And I know for some travelers, they worry about, can I drink the water in Belize? Yes, you can drink the water in Belize, like you brush your teeth, no problem. I wouldn't recommend it, it's not very tasty. Go buy water uh, and have that. I know the hotel we're staying at here, they give us bottles water every day to make sure so if you're especially on the keys bottled water is the best way to go but you're not gonna get sick from brushing your teeth or anything like that so don't worry um some other things I want to tell you about when you do go out to eat here, you do need to have a lot of patience. It takes a while to get seated, it takes a while to get your order in, it takes a while to get your food, it takes a while to get your bill, and you need to ask each time. But the thing is, the people here are super friendly, so it's not like you, you don't need to get upset. Just remember, go slow. Just go slow here in Belize, okay? You have that kind of nice feel, and so just, just remember to have some patience when you're ordering. Um, if you want to pay, cash is best. They take US dollars or Belize dollars here. It's no problem whatsoever. It's two to one two Belize for one US. Um, if you want to pay with credit cards uh, at restaurants, like nicer restaurants, they will take it. Um, I have seen some places will charge you a, like a fee in order to use the credit card, so have a heads up for that one if it's the price a bit more than what they said it would be, uh, just, for, just for that one. Um, but what I'd say is what we found is you have restaurants all over, you can do those things, no problem. The, the local Belizean restaurants, you know, four walls, the kitchen, it's just kind of a good thing. Um, but if you're going here on the beaches or you're going to be out and you see people grilling out and stuff like that and the locals eating there, go check that out because I guarantee the person cooking is going to be funny, the person serving you is going to be nice and sweet, and the food is going to be fantastic. So whether you're having that kind of jerk chicken here in the Caribbean or the stewed chicken up in the mountains, or you're going to have any, any of the seafood, especially the grilled lobster, you will enjoy eating here in Belize. So there's one thing you really need to know is that they love their Marie Sharp's hot sauce here in uh, in Belize. No matter what you have, whether it's fried lobster here with coconut, or if you're having anything, they love this stuff. So this is one of the things you're going to eat when you're here. It's definitely having some Marie Sharp's hot sauce, okay? So uh, enjoy. All right. I have this lovely grilled lobster. In the States, we would steam them, which y'all like. Oh my gosh. Grilled spices. Are you making fun of me? No. It's so good. Come here, baby. Bring some out. Tell me it's not awesome. So I hope that helps you know a bit more about coming here and what to enjoy when you are here, aside from the great snorkeling and the Mayan ruins and all these kind of things. Um, if you want to learn more, maybe 10 things that shock tourists when they come to Belize, or you want some more bike background, what should I know before I come to Belize? Check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions, and we hope you like travel videos like this, because if you do, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and you'll find out that we do new travel videos every Wednesday and Saturday, and they'll pop up in your feeds. And also, we just say a special thank you to everyone, all, all of our patrons on Patreon who have made videos like this possible. If you want to learn how you can support us, go to patreon.com slash waltersworld to find out more. And I'll say bye from here in Key Coker in Belize. They're getting ready to start the grills for the grilled lobster, so um, I gotta go. Bye. <laughs>